Howdy folks, how's it going today? Alright, so they introduced season 2, Neon City already. It had originally been reported that it wasn't going to be till December 1st, but they rolled out the update a lot sooner. Um, and challenge events have been suspended for the time being. Because they won't run an event where when there's a portal up. A season 2 portal so that just won't happen so for the time being looks like challenge events are gonna be pushed to the side <clears throat> for season 2 so anybody got any of the heroes yet this is a very interesting offer too I I don't buy these but I don't like they do this at the end of every event usually the 10 flasks and whatever thousand mech coins and whatnot do they really give out 3,000 gold in those offers, though? This seems really high to me. Maybe it isn't, but I don't, like I said, I don't purchase them, so I don't really pay attention to it, but... 3,000 gold? They give you, compare it to the shop. You get 1,800 for $30, and this is $12 more Canadian. And you're getting 3,000 gold. You're getting a 10 pull with the 1,000 neon coins. And then you get the 10 flasks. I don't... That just seems so crazy to me, but... I don't know, maybe it is like that for every event. But that seems really high. But for anybody that does purchase these types of deals, that seems like a good one to me. So, And it's very interesting they offered it on the second day, too. So I thought I'd just go through some of the specials on these guys. So basically this is the first 15 heroes that they're going to release. There's going to be more coming uh, when they open the portal every month. The summon gate, there'll be more. Uh, so I'm not too worried about doing any pulls yet. And as you can see, this is my alt account. I've only done four boards to get 12 coins something like that so because yeah you get three per so um i'm not in any rush by any means i haven't even bothered to start it in my main account and doing my regular farming there for the time being because i know more are gonna come and here's why too okay so they have all different families hacker family corporate family Vigilante family, so they'll be adding more heroes every month and they'll be along to these different families. So, uh, as they open up more of the season two as well, right? So, let's take a look at a few of these. They have some I very interesting specials on a few of them. Um, so, some of them, some of them seem fairly, like, average. There's nothing really great about them but they will be quite handy for a lot of different things um this one is has got quite the mask on <laughs> but uh yeah i don't know slow charging deals extra damage against yellow so that's going to be similar to jet set i bet extra damage equals 40 percent of damage dealt and i believe jet set's similar to that uh, she does the extra damage against green, so. Kind of nice that she does a heal the caster. That's cool. There's not too many of those. Um, I don't know, though. For a slow hero, that seems like not a lot of damage to me, but... I don't know. Initial damage? Mm, seems, seems like it could be a bit higher, because... Yeah, in 36, where does that end up on the speed chart? Not that there's a lot of um, purple speed weapons by any means. But, oh, just grab my speed chart here. What would she need for the next bracket? Yeah, she'd have to get all the way to 43 to become average. Uh, yeah, and there are 
what the ink explosion I think might be six or seven speed points. So basically you need seven speed points to get her to the average. So I'm I'm not sh so sure with all the other purples that uh, she'd be that handy. Let's take a look at Apex here. Overcharged Harpoon, so another slow hero. And there really are no speed green weapons. Like it's one of the uh, weapons of the month, I do believe, had a speed boost on it. But it's just, yeah, not something they'd put on green weapons because they hit the color green apparently. Now, he would only need uh, four speed points to get to the, to the 43, though, and become average. So if they do deal out some green speed weapons in the future, he could be functionally faster with it. So 315% damage to the target. So that's quite a bit more than Demonica. And then 200 additional damage against targets with less than 50% health. So that's good as an offensive hero. The green category, I don't know, there are quite a few good ones. Like I I really like Elif and I really like Ox and I happen to have two Ox now in my main account which is awesome! Just working on uh, getting the other one up to par so I don't know I might default to them but I don't know. He, Yeah that's decent. I mean, I like Sarah with her critical chance too for offense, so. But he doesn't seem too bad. Again, the slow charge though is a bit of a drawback. All right. Leon the lion. Oh, it even says that too. Hunting chrome lion. <laughs> That's funny. All right, so another slow hero. <laughs> Clear status ailments. So there's a few status ailment clears like uh, Jocasta Logan. Uh, I don't know about four stars though that there's so many of them that clear status ailments besides Bridget and of course Coyote that sort of thing. So he's 37. Now the Triss would help him speed him up for sure at 37. That's a seven point weapon. So yeah. He'd easily hit that 43 and drop a tile off of charging, so that's cool. 180 damage to the target nearby enemies. Also, he's another yellow AoE hitter like Echo. Damage is increased by 10% per each cleared status ailment. Now that makes him very interesting. Because you think about all the status ailments that are thrown, right? Uh, you could have multiple ones on your team at a time and then this guy goes off and does an extra 10% per each. So it could have bleed from a master weapon, bleed from Dasha. You know it could have uh, another master weapon that's poison on there. You could have been hit by edge. Like that's four status ailments that could clear right there, right? if they were all on your heroes at the same time. So that does actually make him quite interesting, that very last part there. I'd imagine he could be quite handy in some situations. All right, Leo the Lion. Now she looks very interesting. Tori, extreme range sniper. Now again, she's slow, but look at how much damage to the target. 440%. Like that's really high for a four star and a sniper, but it's nice to see a sniper for this because you do have a lot of AOE hitters for blue, like Hollow Pointless, who I wish I could stop using already. Well, as soon as I get better blues in this account. Um, yeah, I, like I want my damn emblems back off Hollow Pointless. <laughs> so, <laughs> It's nice to see a sniper, that's for sure. So 35 slow. Uh, she would need... Eh, yeah, see, eight speed points. And I suppose that's why she's as slow as she is. Um, that would be the balance of it for her doing that high a damage. But man, to make her functionally faster, it would be hard. 
really hard to do that because she needs 12 tiles to charge up right now 45 percent chance to reduce the charge of the target by 100 percent. so you know she's gonna be doing that a lot pretty much half the time she hits that's another thing that makes her very interesting because that is kind of like ox right so we'll see i actually wouldn't mind her so what's the corporate family so the same family in battle so 10 15 20 25 percent chance to receive 15 percent of the directly applied healing and armor effects from enemy special skills oh that's interesting so you can steal armor and then of course you get the extra defense i wonder so all the families should have something different all right let's take a look at this guy jargo a street chef interesting so what's his family vigilante 40 50 60 70 percent chance to apply seven percent dodge to self and 90 percent attack to all allies for three turns when health is reduced to below 20 percent wow huh well that's interesting that could potentially turn around a battle plus 90 percent attack eh and then you get another attack bonus huh all right so 41 he's slow i you know like he's with a red speed weapon all of them are seven points or more so he's fine to get into the average category at 43 and you know i don't recall there being any four red red healers yet four star red healers there's jacosta but not a lot of people have her either because she was a hero of the month um and then of course you got zidane does a little bit of healing but just to the allies beside him so i think this guy will, will be quite useful recovers 139 additional health to allies with less than 50 percent health remaining and then of course you got the family bonus if you're playing a bunch of vigilantes together to apply the dodge to self and 90 percent attack when the health is reduced to below 20 percent by a special skill huh that's that's all that all could be very very interesting and turn around to battle i think anyway all right, see ya, Mikey. I'm just going to call him see ya, Mikey. All right, paint pellets. <laughs> Hit and run artist. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so he's a vigilante that could, could potentially play nice with the street chef there. Another slow hero, though. What are you guys doing to us here? All right, so 36. Two, four, six. Six. Ooh, that would just get him into the average category with the Triss at 43. So there you go. Now I do like this 180 damage to all enemies and then the minus 38 accuracy for three turns. And of course the special skill could miss as well. And all enemies become unaffected by dodge bonuses for three turns. I don't know. I think he could do quite well in a yellow stack on an event with Tannenbaum and maybe a few others. Jonah. All the armor that Jonah does. I don't know. I think this one could be very interesting for events and tourneys. And of course, you gotta keep in mind with tourneys, uh, we, they do the special skill set to fast, right? So very easily make some of these slow heroes very useful for something like that because they're gonna go off fast and their special skills are just gonna rain down on the opposing team all right michelle armor smith it's quite the eyepiece you got there lady all right so oh my god an average hero all right so this one steals armor and this family is hacker family so the hacker family bonus 
Chance to apply status ailments from enemy special skills back to the caster. Oh, right on. Hmm, that could be very interesting too. And then charge generation. Nice. That's good. Like to see the ones that charge up a bit faster, but of course you gotta wait. Now, she's 52 is average, so with a, what does she need? Two, four, six or seven speed points to get to fast. Drop a tile down to nine and five ghosted, so that's all right. But again, it, if you're trying, if you're using her for an event or whatever, there are no speed weapons for the rare events. Um, it would have to be, I think it's the ink explosion, so which is a five star weapon, so might not be able to use them too much for her. All right, so the, besides the stealing armor from all enemies. All enemies with no armor get minus 50 healing for three turns. Well, that could definitely be dead deadly. And then you can't even clear it. So your status ailments heroes won't even help you there. Wow. And then no armor gets minus 50% armor for three turns as well. Huh. And burn. All enemies receive 264 damage over four turns. Hmm. That is very unique. That's a very unique special too. Wonder how uh how she would be in some events. Alright. Wheels. One of the five stars. Oh, he's a vigilante too. We used to have a player in our alliance whose name was Wheels. <laughs> and it's just like Degrassi Junior High. There was a wheels on the original Degrassi. I think I might have just dated myself there again with that reference. That was a Canadian show by the way, Degrassi. <laughs> Alright, so he's slow as well. But again, 43 is that break point and the Tiggers will do that for him easily. So any of the red speed weapons will. So 175 damage to all enemies. Not bad. Not bad at all. A stealth drone minion for the caster. And then the caster steals 30% of any healing applied to enemies while a stealth drone minion is alive. Oh. Nice. Nice little bonus there to keep healing himself if he's got a minion. Yeah, this guy, this guy looks pretty cool. 175 damage to all enemies is pretty good. Uh, not quite Mortis good, but Mortis is also overpowered, so... I don't know, I do think a couple of these heroes could be some answers to some of these overpowered heroes, too, that we have. Which is maybe why they rushed to release them, because I certainly have complained several times about Terminus. And I know others have too, but they're ignoring us, so. Alright, Crash. This guy looks... <laughs> this guy actually looks pretty funny. So he is fast, thankfully. <laughs> but these are kind of unique specials too that he deals out. So the first one when he hits, 235% damage to target. Not bad. Not bad for 3 star damage. And then you get the second time he charges up, which will be fairly fast considering that he's 60. Uh, it only takes nine tiles at 60. So the second time he charges up deals 235% damage to the target and then the 112 defense minus defense for three turns. So he just turns deadlier as he goes. And again the 235 damage on the third one and the target and nearby enemies get 112 defense minus for three turns so <laughs> by that third one if there's anybody left alive they won't be um one of my teammates from farmed and dangerous got four of this guy and honestly i would if i was him i'd probably level up all four of them to use in a blue stack on an event like that's insane damage by the time the third one goes off or you know, like even three of them. 
and then a healer or whatever, Vittoria. So maybe some competition for the Vittorias that have dominated all the rare events, right? His special looks very interesting. I, w I would definitely level up multiples of him if I had it. All right, Sato, Sato? I don't know how to pronounce that. All right, Samurai. <laughs> the Katana Gash. So average speed. 355 damage to the target. That, that doesn't seem too bad. And then he's got additional damage against armor. That's cool. I always like Banshee and Minimoto and others like that for the additional damage against armor. It's much nicer to see that in the special the hero than on the darn weapons. I just think it's such a waste. So if the target has armor, the target gets minus 30 defense and a further minus 4 decrease every time they are hit for three turns. There you go. That's pretty deadly. It can stack up to minus 54 defense. Oh yeah, that is definitely deadly. And that's one of the reasons why I like Marina is because she does the defenses down, right? So, uh, yeah, I can see this guy being very handy for yellow war machines. Yeah, that's nuts. Just charge them up to hit right away with some energy drinks and then you've got You've automatically got defenses down on the war machine. Hmm. Very good. Now, I don't know. Like, could he be a counter to Terminus as well? Like, he's warfighter class, so there's a chance of him reviving. And then he's got that much damage to the target. And then Terminus would have minus 30 defense as well so i don't know possible that this guy could be an answer to him and 45 so where does it get to the next break point well he'd still be average but 50 would be the next break point where it drops a tile so he would go from 11 to 10. so him with an ink explosion he'd be charging up faster I don't know, I think this guy could be very, very good against a lot of yellows. Alright, war chests, buddy. Missile defense droid. So he's average speed. 215 damage to all enemies. That is... Pff, damn, that's a lot of damage. Can't miss. So it doesn't apply to stealth. So if visor was in stealth mode he wouldn't hit visor but other than that he doesn't miss and all enemies get minus 38 accuracy for three turns and that of course applies to special skills as well no different than arachi or uh gold goldman and a few others uh the cowboy guy <laughs> the hell his name is right now Vasquez <laughs> Vasquez yeah so that's an interesting special and that's a good amount of damage to all those enemies so I don't I don't know that seems a little bit high actually for damage but okay so 43 average yeah and he would need to get to that 50 so seven speed points on a blue weapon that's very interesting too all right, this one I I think is a counter to some of these out here. Now she is slow. 190 damage to the target nearby enemies, which is cool. Descru destroys all minions from target enemies. That is cool too. Recover 75 health per eaten minion for all allies. That is another cool bonus. And then the target, this is where I think she could be an answer to your Cassinias and your Terminuses. The target automatically uses mindless attack on a random ally when charge is full during three turns. Okay, so anybody that is familiar with Empires and Puzzles is probably familiar with Merlin who does a mindless attack. He's a four star purple over there. Merlin, I love that special. Loved it, loved it. So... 
the mindless attack means as soon as the enemy has full charge that they will just automatically throw it but it won't land on your team so for anybody that's not familiar with that that's how that mindless attack works so if you have if she's able to throw her special and you could throw it at terminus if he's close to charging and then the mindless attack would go off and he would just throw a special into the air no wouldn't hit anything or it would land on his allies so yeah this could be very interesting with her certainly wouldn't mind a copy of this lady but she looks evil because she's a mega corporation ceo i'm just saying she's probably evil <laughs> but honestly it it doesn't look like a bad special at all again no green speed weapons really to speak of so you're not going to be able to make her functionally faster however she is this slow because of everything she does <laughs> in the special like you're getting to hit all targets with 190 percent damage you're gonna get rid of all the minions right away if you're taking on talon or one of the other ones perla you're gonna get some health back from eating those minions and then you get a mindless attack as well so it's pretty cool so it is sort of similar to chull if you're familiar with chull here how he kind of chokes out the special as they charge up and they aren't able to throw their special it it's kind of similar it works a little bit different but yeah keep that in mind so you want to throw her at whoever's the most dangerous and closest to charging such as terminus or mortis or whatnot so yeah very interesting special i really like that one all right who's next i think we're probably getting closer to the end here well maybe not <laughs> all right this might be a longer video than i meant it to be so average speed here 250 damage to the target nearby enemies that's not bad for a three star it's really not bad and he does the mindless attack too so that could come in quite handy on events and especially in the boss stages i wouldn't mind a copy of him to pair with bucky and see how those guys work together and he's 45 so yeah i mean you're not going to be able to put any three star speed weapons on him but a tigger will speed him up so that's very interesting too i like i like the special as well i always like those unique kind of off the wall specials like i i love chill special it's absolutely wicked so all right jackie a resourceful detective all right so this is interesting that so she's fast speed which is good but this is interesting that they minus 48 defense against yellow for three turns we haven't got a color down for is it blue and green but they're already introducing a second yellow one like we have rudolph we have 8-bit and we have ah the other cowboy lady why can i never remember their names <laughs> um vasquez's partner in crime <laughs> and uh marigold yeah it's marigold i don't think there are any other ones though if there are please leave a comment about it because i just can't think of any offhand so but this looks like a very good special too uh certainly be handy against purple war machines like 8-bit and the caster gets plus 34 attack for three turns so she's gonna put her attack up too and she's gonna charge fairly fast again because she's 62. so i don't i don't think though now she can get functionally faster and drop one tile off but she won't get to the very fast category so it a triss will help her speed her up because she's 62 and 64 drops a tile but still leaves her as fast so 
She's nine to charge at 62 and she'll be eight with a Triss on her. But to get to the very fast category, she'd have to get to 71. And that's nine speed points. I don't think there are any yellow weapons with nine on them. The Ragnarok, maybe? No, I think that only has six. So this is a very unique special. I think she'd be quite the handy hero and another warfighter that'll revive. All right, what's up with you, buddy? Nash. Iron Knuckle Scrapper. All right. Monofilament knife. Mm -hmm. So he's average speed. So that's good. Um, the break point is 50. Like, he'd still be average, but uh, he'd drop a tile from from 11 to 10. However, again, you're going to good luck finding a green that's got some speed on it. <laughs> that's a good amount of damage, though, for 3 star. 365 damage to the target, and then minus 66 healing received for 4 turns. So that's a unique special too, but I don't I don't see him replacing too many of Vittoria's, that's for sure. In any events or anything. Her six shooter special is just the bomb compared to a lot of the greens. Alrighty, so that's it. Nash was it. There seems to be a lot of warfighters too. He's a warfighter. I don't So there must be more Obviously, there's more classes coming. I don't know if there's any more families coming. That's three families. So we'll see. But there is a huge variety and a lot of uses for a lot of these heroes. None of them look really overpowered like Mortis and Terminus are. Like, like there's some really strong ones like her. That's a hell of a lot of damage. But again, she's slow to balance it out, right? So... We'll see what happens, but yeah, my initial thoughts are some of them look pretty good uh, and some of them are fairly average, but there's a lot of uses for a lot of these guys. So let me know what you think in the comments, guys, and if you've got any of them and you're using any of them yet. All right, folks, sorry that was a little bit longer than I meant it to be, but have a fantastic Thursday and I'll talk at you later. Enjoy, folks.